Gunner. Interesting. <laughs> you know, as far as experiences go, Aimer is an experience and a half if you play against yeah. him. Uh, this is my running theory. There's probably an optimized version of all the Mii's, like the Mii Gunner, the Mii Swordsman, the Mii Brawler. There's probably a custom move set that is the best one. And but it's scary because, I mean, you don't really see them. You don't see much <laughs> gameplay, so, I mean, right, you're so learning <laughs> as you go on the fly. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like the best one a lot of times outside of the optimized one is the one your opponent has no idea what the heck is going on. You're right. <laughs> And by and large, whenever I see Aimer play, I, I'm commentating, and I'm not going to lie to you, I have no idea what's going on. He's just throwing out these special moves. They look like holy water. They look like, you know, just a, a, a mix of <laughs> a different characters. Yeah, different characters. So I know Chang is definitely a, a, a player from Mexico. Okay. Plays a lot with uh, MK Leo uh -huh. and, um, and Javi. So let's see how he's able you know, able to adapt the, the pride of Mexico versus the pride of SoCal. Yeah. And he's, you know, he's looked a little tentative so far. Uh, Chag has, uh, Jake, Chag, 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 Chag. Chag? Chag okay. yeah, Chag. yeah, Chag's looked a little tentative so far, but now he's exercising his, his advantage. And that's kind of how every match against Aimer starts. People right. start off tentative, they're like, "What am I looking at?" And then they start, the wheels start turning, and Ooh. wow, that back air almost killed. Oh, oh my God, he got right. him with a neutral special. Uh, that car you know, Palatina has shot. a reflector, and he got the charge shot. Yeah. I'm wondering if Backer would have probably destroyed the charge shot. Oh yeah, it's no just something to you know avoid it. Uh, but you know, yeah, Palutena, <laughs> yeah. Palutena being a top tier just throughout the back air. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I've never seen it before. I can still probably beat it. It's <laughs> kind of what Palutena feels like. Oh man, he just looks so uncomfortable. Like he is not sure what's going on. No, but right. now he looks comfortable. He's throwing out all the Palutena aerials. Ooh, it's uh, right we'll back at home. Four up there, five. <laughs> He's like back in the training room, boys. Six. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that disadvantage state probably hurt because it looks like Aimer's game for just a hot minute. You do not want to be uh, above the Palantina if you're trying to recover. And here we go. He's, he's on charge. He's got it on deck because that's how he took the first stock. I don't yeah, know right if he's going to let that happen yeah. again. Let's see how he gets back. Possible roll. Oh, covering roll. Let's see. Oh, nice jump. And here we go. He's, uh, you know, oh, yeah, there Great he is. <laughs> I didn't know what he was doing. He shot it, and I didn't know if he was going to be able to recover. He was able to get back, and he's in control of the stage once again. And that back Ooh, air, so air. So I'm surprised he didn't do a back air right there because he had it scouted on the you know, the aerial approach. Right. And we saw how powerful it was. But they're playing pretty even. And, yeah, could Definitely you imagine? Each other. <laughs> could you imagine coming from Mexico to play against the SoCal's finest and then running into a me player? Yeah, I mean, that's a curveball. <laughs> i just be like, man, I'm going back home. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but this is why he's playing still in tournament and why I'm on the microphone. Oh, Ooh, my God, there's that back air. You were just, yeah. just saying that he should throw some back airs and it worked. He got it. Oh, that. Too afraid with that down tilt? Yeah, he got the down tilt. And well, didn't flip. get the follow-up, though, unfortunately. And this is where Aimer is so powerful. And once he gets the lead, especially on the last stock, and you just kind of feel... You feel as a player, this is something that should be so easily solvable. Right. <laughs> this should not be working, but it's still working. You're running into projectiles. The frustration starts. He takes a heal. He and takes another heal. Oh, man, he's just <laughs> healing up. And fortunately, it doesn't heal too much. But you know, uh, I mean, that's a good. Uh, that's some good extra credit. 80 percent yeah. now. Oh man. And he's still not done. Oh, that oh, might be definitely, a yeah, that's definitely stock. <laughs> Got caught sleeping that time. <laughs> but hey, it's worth it, right? He's done 80 percent in the lead, and he's just sitting pretty. But on the other side of it, we did see that Aimer did have a little bit of trouble closing out some of the stocks, so right. don't count Chag out of it yet, especially with Palutena combos. We saw that one string where he did like 75 damage on his own and didn't let him land. Right, now he's not letting him, not letting him back on stage. Yeah, we have virtually a tie game at this point. Oh, yeah, very good. Very good. One, oh, oh, no. Great counter. Dang. Yeah, the player cam, Aimer just not. He's like, I got got. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got got. Hold that one. And if we're thinking of Super Galaxy Brain plays, uh, you know, we saw Chak. He got killed on the first stop by the charge shot. Yeah. And, and, this, and he didn't reflect it. We were like, I wonder why he didn't reflect it. Right. He returned the favor. He's like, here you go. <laughs> He's like, oh, I got this one, though, on deck and uh, knocked him out. That's unfortunate, too, because uh, Me Gunner was definitely dictating the game. Yeah. He was putting in work and then just slipped up once, and that's it. Yeah, kind of a big, big slip up, though, unfortunately. You know, yeah. it's there's always those critical moments in matches, and unfortunately for Aimer, that was that was the one. All right, coming into game two, and they're going right back at it. Back to and, PS2. And if you're Aimer, you got to feel pretty confident, though, because you, as we were saying, he was pretty much in control of the right. matchup. It right, almost right. looked like he was running away with it. 
Except for the one slip up. And if he can just just not, clean it up yeah. a little bit, and he'll be fine. And not even worry. Yeah, it, may, it looks like he's even going away from charge shot just a little bit. Yeah, it's, now it's charged, so yeah. it's on deck. It's something that you know. You uh, gotta keep it, you gotta keep your mind on it. It's right. so kind of like a snake C4. You got you know it's there. And, uh, it's an option. It's yeah, scary. sometimes the uh, the fear of it in its existence is more powerful than it actually hitting. Right, right, right. In all the situations. Additional pressure. Let's see what he does with that down throw. Oh, re grab, nice on the platform. I'm surprised the uh, the air dodge is working on that up air since it has so many hits. Oh, oh wow! And yeah, he picked them off uh, on the two frame. And that's hard to do with a teleporting character, man. <laughs> Definitely, seriously, that's like one of the hardest things to do with Mewtwo and all that. And here he goes. Uh, this is Good where uh, Chad has gotten his mileage. He gets him off stage once, and here we go. Ooh, the Nair off air, stage, yeah. and is he gonna get back? I, I don't Third think that air special has a hitbox, man. He's just throwing it out. <laughs> hey, very slippery it. recovery, though. Went high. Yeah. Now, when he when he has that much distance, you know that Pontian is thinking about countering. If, right. if he just sees that charge shot going go out, and it becomes a game of chicken. Are you gonna do it? Are yeah, you not right. gonna do it. <laughs> like call your bluff. Oh. And it's dead even. Uh, oh, there's here. a back here. Yeah, caught him with a drag down there. Put him into like those, that weird situation where you don't know, uh, and, but it puts you in a spot to make a play, and he made the play. So he decides to let's, let's drop an air. Oh, good counter. He oh, reflected that jump. time, and you know, unlike game one where he just took it, that yeah, time he, uh, oh, yeah. oh, wow, that killed. Got the kill, and we're pretty even again. This is a quality match. Uh, both players just Definitely locked right really in, good. and neutral air is coming out. Let's see if Amir has a rebuttal to it, or if he's just gonna, you know, keep on going. Let's see what. I, what okay, so he just has to roll on. Decides to roll on stage, and now trying to stuff him out with some uh, projectiles. Oh, was that forward air or back air? It might be a situation where Chagas might have figured out the me gunner riddle. Right, <laughs> no, yeah, he's definitely adapted pretty quickly. He's trying Good to counter. run away with it a little bit. Uh, let's see if he's able to pick up uh, pick up a big hit here and close it out, or if Amir's able to battle back. Now we saw Chag uh, definitely counter twice, so I mean you know he has that in in, his, in the back of his mind right. ready to. Yeah, he's, you know, he's a little trigger up. happy with it almost. I'm wondering if that, there might be a way for Amber to whiff punish it or, you know, right. just kind of bait it out the cool in the situation. Down. He's doing a great job of keeping him off stage. Yeah. Man, that pressure. It is, you know, despite that trigger happiness, he's able to sneak in a charge shot for big damage. Right. And, oh, there's another. Yeah, that, that holy water mock-up is so oh. powerful looking. So like four parries right there. And he's trying to heal it just a little bit. I don't know if it's worth the, like, worth yeah, the risk. Yeah, it's very risky. I mean, you're at 140. If you get clipped accidentally mistime it, you're dead for sure. Although he did a good job of parrying out of that. Oh, wow, good. He scouted out the double jump. Good yeah, back air. Good play by Chad. And that might be the difference in the, uh, you know, you talk about critical moments in the set. Right. He made the play when he needed to. And he's starting to run away with it. You know, Aimer that, a little bit frustrated. Now I see Chad here trying to uh, extend his combos with the, uh, the platform, but I mean, the gunner is doing a really good job of just air dodging out. Yeah, trying to do his best to minimize the damage, but that's mm. 75 unanswered. Yeah, it doesn't all have to happen at once. It could be a couple of exchanges, and all of a sudden you're behind by right. so much in this game. You get hit once, that just opens you up to take more damage. Oh, let's, uh, oh he's, trying, he's trying to get cheeky. Yeah, he's, he's uh, uh, trying to be a little flashy. Yeah. <laughs> and if only it had come off and down aired immediately. Yeah. And then it would have him out of kill. He was right there. Uh, there's uh, that, uh, the holy water mix. Uh, I, I need to look up what the Me Gunner's uh, moves are called. Right? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, you'll probably only play like three or four ever, yeah. but. Vital knowledge to the metagame. Yeah, uh, Amber doing everything. Oh my god. Amber doing everything he can, though, trying to battle this back, but he's got quite a deficit to make up. Because before it had always been so close, and, you know, this is definitely a lot more to try to, you know, to surmount. Doing the best he can. Uh, Chag just not Over quite able. Oh. <laughs> he got a good, good heal. Some good damage that he got back, or good percentage. Yeah, because there's the multiplier on the reflect, and right. then he uh, got the uh, the heal on it. And oh, Chad that Nair going is so deep. good because you can actually drag down your opponent with that nair. Yeah, and as we were saying, it doesn't look like Amber's uh, up special has a hitbox on it, so right. Palantina can just go off and do whatever aerial she wants, and it's gonna happen. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> I thought he stood up right into the, yeah. uh, you know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that dash stack would have killed too at 158 when he was that. And Palantina is such a light character, living forever, kind of the bane of the existence of Amor, as I was saying before, right. having just trouble closing out the stock. Kind of the difference. That should be enough yeah, to kill. Yeah, that should be stock. Dang. 
Definitely yeah, played a lot cleaner uh, the second game than the first game. Yeah, it looked like Chad just sort of kind of figured out what he was supposed to be doing and right. got a little more confident in it, especially on the advantage side. We right. saw as soon as he started the combos, you know, that one combo uh, sequence in the first game, I think, did a lot for his mentality. He just looked mm -hmm. so much more confident after he's like, oh, it's just it's just like any other character. Just yeah, definitely played a lot cleaner, just stuck to the bread and butters, the nares, the down throw yeah. back airs, going off stage with that uh, teleport cancel 